What up? This is Matt from Gear Zombie, and today we're going to look at a really sweet old Ibanez RG550. All right, first I need to. Well, that thing. It's like a it's like a cattle prod. I'm gonna light a candle, not because I'm trying to be YouTuber ambiance guy, but studio may not be the freshest of places. Okay, so a few weeks ago I posted on my Facebook page that I had found a guitar and I was mulling over it. I found this guitar, which is in my profile picture on Facebook, is one that has belonged to my brother. My brother bought it many, many, many moons ago and he was gracious enough to let me use it live uh, a handful of times. That and the Petrucci, which I eventually bought from him. My brother brought his guitars over to my house. He was moving, he brought all of his gear over uh, and he was like, hey, I'm getting ready to move. Can I just store my stuff at your house? until we get our house moved and everything. During that time, I was able to acquire the Petrucci, but he would not sell me this purple guitar, uh, which I'm also going to ask for some help on uh, in this video. So this is, I do believe, the same as what I just purchased, uh, a 1991 RG550 um, in this uh, cool purple with the purple mirrored pick guard. Um, this particular RG550, However, um, on the headstock, I don't know if you can see it there, it says USA Custom. Now, since my brother refused to sell me this guitar, absolutely refused, um, I, I started looking years ago uh, to find one. And every once in a great while, I would see one of these uh, fuchsia kind of purplish sort of guys uh, pop up and it would never be a USA Custom. So it got me to wondering why this is even a USA Custom. I've done a bunch of Googling. I've got a serial number on here. I should probably just message Ibanez. This one, uh, nice and worn. Uh, it's got some, some love marks on the bottom. It's got some love marks on the top. I think I might've done that. I know a couple of these uh, love chunks are mine which uh, used to be, actually Love Chunks used to be the uh, nickname of, <laughs> of a friend of mine. I don't know if he knew it was the nickname though. Let's open this up. This was a reverb purchase. Let's open this up and see what we got. Uh, uh, said in my last video I needed to sharpen my knife. Oh, I sharpened my knife. Look at that, baby. That's sharp as the Dickens. I don't know what the Dickens is. My dad used to say it all the time. Whatever the Dickens is, it must have been sharp. It wasn't just sharp, the Dickens. Any sort of expression of a lot was the Dickens. So I got a very nice, appears to be a fairly well-kept uh, Ibanez hard shell case. All right, let's look and see what we got here. Look at that. Still got some love on the neck. Hmm. Oh, you know, that's weird. The, uh, the pick guard, the pick guard is really thick on this one. So let me do this real quick. Let's take a look at these next to each other. They're close. Yeah, that pick guard's interesting. But different headstock, different headstock than that guy. I mean, same headstock, different logo. Actually, that's a different color. It's definitely darker headstock. Now it makes me wonder if that didn't come off another guitar. It's got some high ass action. It's actually got some really high action. I got not only this purple strap, but a bunch of Tortex, purple Tortex picks. I've never seen these. It's actually kind of scary. They just slide over. Let's see if we can settle this down just a little bit. Ah, you pull them. You, you pull the little nipple, the little nubbin. I've never used these. <laughs> You probably can't see. Dust down. Thank you. 
Yeah, this action is <laughs> gnarly, bud. It's uh, it's not good. Like, uh, it's it's high enough. It's it's weird because it plays sweet, and that one doesn't have the best action either. But it plays sweet. Um, but this one's tall enough that you know if I'm gonna bend, I might roll the string over the top of my fat sausage fingers. <laughs> Absolute first thing I'm going to do is sync that metal pickup. By the way, I'm playing this through my buddies, uh, Paul Reed Smith, uh, Mark Tremonti 15, the MT-15, which I'm doing a full review on, and I will have it out shortly. <laughs> So back to my brothers, which which has old dead strings. Maybe we can fix that up. Fast fret. I use fast fret all the time. Uh, that being said, I'd be willing to bet that I was the last one that played this guitar. I'm sure he probably did. I'm sure he probably played it, but Oh, I can just feel the schmutz. Feel the schmutz. Oh, schmutzy. Schmutzy McSmutcherson. It's funny because I look at that picture, that profile picture, and I've got this big gnarly face, right? And I can tell by looking at that picture, I haven't even thought about that song. And uh, it's a song that uh, my one of my old bandmates wrote years and years. I mean, how long has it been? What is it? It's 2023, 2013, 2003. I mean, it's probably been probably been close to 20 years since I played with those guys. <laughs> Why is this one a USA, this one a USA custom, and this one not a USA custom? Why is it a USA custom? Thanks for watching. Do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe, and until next time, Gear Zombie. Man, I should tell my Paisley Park, going to Paisley Park story, these purple guitars, what I should do.